They don't come easy, but what a game. No, that was fun. That's why you, we still do this. Yes, that, uh, that's about as good a regular season win as you'll see. My uh, hand warmers burst in my pockets about the eighth inning. I got, that's why I got black all over my face. I, I'll take it, though, Doesn't right? Doesn't matter now, right? It's called makeup, right? <laughs> so many guys to ask you about. I had to write them you down. Had to write him I had to write them down on a piece of paper. Uh, I want to say I called him rubber arm blyer. Well, well yes, Richard, the guy that depends on the sinker. Um, yeah, I think he'll need a day off. What do you think? Yeah, I think but, so. but you know, I go back to Orojo. What a what a what a splendid outing he had, and Castro held him there, and nobody just let it blow up, which kept us connected in the game. And uh, uh, you know, especially against Montgomery, a guy that's really been tough on us and everybody else in the league. But uh, just a lot of good innings. Darren got beat with a broken not beat, but a broken bat single, or uh, Brad never never gave in. Santander, a green light home run. Any thoughts about that when he was up there? Uh, you know, some guys, you know, you give them a green light and they try to act like they're hitting, but they're not really. Uh, you give him the green light, he's going to turn it loose. But uh, yeah, I, th I was more impressed with uh, how well he played right field. You know, that's a tough right field to play, and he played it really well. Well, about Gentry and left? Uh, not only did he have the big hit, he had a great catch. Yeah, a lot, a lot of things can go back down there were separators in the game. And, you know, the Yankees made it tough on us. You know, they came back and almost broke our heart. You know, sometimes you can want something too much. Because this game, this game will break your heart, but today's one of those days. It'll be a nice train ride back. I might have a uh, glass of water. Good. Caleb Joseph on the double play. I don't know that I've seen that before. Well, that, that's a baseball player play. It's one that he thought about before it happened. You know, it's something you just can't analyze analytically. It's why you want guys like him and Gentry and guys around because they are always thinking the game and always figuring out, thinking about something before it happens. They're proactive instead of reactive. I thought Manny had a great visit to the mound there, too. Really showed some maturity. More changes to think of the roster or your bullpen? How do you feel? Okay, good. We'll see that the changes. Well, let's put it this way. About the eighth inning, I had Kevin Buck, our traveling secretary, get Dylan on the train back early because I thought we might be here a while. So Dylan's just about in Baltimore now. Good. He can sleep well. Thank you, Skip. Thank you.